Welcome back Tater Tots to my channel for another new video. So this is an exciting one for me because it's my first real official face cam video I guess you could say and we are going to be doing what I've seen a lot of other YouTubers doing lately which is to rate each of the Sims 4 packs and I am really excited about this guys and remember just a disclaimer these are just my own personal thoughts on the packs like you guys can might love one that I don't really care for because it's just it's really all in how you play the game so just keep that in mind guys let's let's not be too brutal so if you guys are ready let's get started so first of all I've noticed that my list is not in any order and I did make this list myself on tier maker here but I thought I put them in order but I guess they didn't so it, it's fine guys we're just gonna start with of course base game so first of all the sims base game I would have to say it's decent okay I can deal with it it was the sims 4 it was new and it was what we had at the time so you know it, it was decent could it have been better yes it definitely could have been but you know it was a new game and you know we all know that with the sims you're going to get expansion packs so it was only a matter of time till we started seeing some more improvements there next i want to go right into our next one here which is our cats and dogs i am going to be honest guys for me i can't live without it okay because i number one I love the furniture and all the aesthetics that come with this pack. I thought it was really charming. And Brindleton Bay, gorgeous. I love the world of Brindleton Bay. It is absolutely beautiful. And just ugh, the way the weather looks in it, if you have seasons. And I personally love having pets in the game. I think it really adds an element of realism. I do wish that we had more pets in it. Kind of like how The Sims 3 had... Uh, horses and things like that I think it would be fun to add a little bit more but you know cats and dogs I'm real happy with that next we're gonna go right on into city living I can't live without city living I absolutely love this expansion pack it's probably one of my favorites just because it was such a new and different element to have apartments and a big city setting um, in the Sims game because in the original Sims we definitely didn't have this and I don't recall having it in the Sims 2 It's been a really long time since I played that one, but I love San my Shuno. I just love the The appearance of it the like food stalls and apartments. I think it's just it's really charming I wish we had more freedom when it comes to making apartments, but regardless I love all the festivals that come with this and it's just it's so fun I literally can't play my game without it, obviously, too. If you guys watch my Solar System LP, it takes place in San Maishuno, so if you haven't watched it, you should go watch it. Just, just saying, you know, a little advertisement there for myself. Anyways, so next we have our Snowy Escape. Yes, I'm going to put this one as good, okay? I love the world of Snowy Escape. I think it's really beautiful, and I love that we're getting more of a cultural aspect included into the game because, guys, I am a huge, avid fan of Japan, okay? Love it. I've been there, and, like, I studied the language for a really long time, and it's just, it's a gorgeous place. It's a gorgeous country. Food is oh, fantastic. I love the food. Oh, I dream about the food all the time, but... This pack, it, it was really beautiful, and the build items are amazing. I love those items that came included with it, and I like that there's, like, a respectful introduction. I think that that's really cute, but I haven't honestly messed too much with snowboarding or, like, the mountain climbing. I've heard that it's really disappointing, but so I guess for gameplay aspects, it doesn't really bring a whole lot more to the actual Sims game. I do love that it adds onsens. And so that is a big thing for me, but I pretty much only use this mostly for just the world, of course, because it's gorgeous, and then just the build by mode items, as I've mentioned. Next, we have Get Famous. So this one, I'm going to put it honestly as great, because I think that the fame system is really good and the Get Famous pack itself. I love that there's all these tiers and it's actually really hard to become like a worldwide known celebrity. Like I tried it kind of on my own on the, just this one family that I was playing with and it was a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. And I love that there's so many different realms that you can become famous in. I think that that's really cool like that you can be 
um, a social media person or like a famous critic. You can even be, I think it's a little weird to be a famous florist, but you know, I guess that's a thing. <laughs> but I think that this pack did a really good job with what it is, where it's supposed to be get famous and like adding in the acting career. I haven't messed with that one too much, but it seems like it'd be really fun. So I do look forward to playing with that one more. But I do also, again, enjoy a lot of the items that came with it and a lot of the cast items as well. So I have to say that this pack for me personally is great. Next we have Island Living. So Island Living, I am going to put this as good. So I think Sulani is gorgeous, beautiful world. I love the beach, how sunny it is. And I just love that tropical vibe and feel. But yes, I do agree that it's lacking in some gameplay aspects that didn't include a whole lot more to it. But the items that come in this expansion pack are just to die for and beautiful. And I just, I love that. I'm all about that aesthetic. And so I haven't really messed with it too much, like just in playing like what's there in Sulani. And I know that there's, from what I've heard, you can't like go under the water and explore like you can in like The Sims 3. And so, yes, I feel like that is something that was missed that could have been added. But regardless, I still think it's a beautiful world if you take it for what it is and that your Sims can just swim and enjoy the beach. I think that that's really fun. So that's why I'm going to go with good. Then we have Discover University, and I'm going to put this in the great category. I think that it's fantastic. I feel like every Sims game really needs to include a college life because some people really like to play through that. I went to college, guys. I I loved it. I had a blast, and I have some of my, some of my greatest memories are in college. But, you know, it's hard, and I like that it's a little bit more challenging in The Sims 4. I haven't gone all the way through it, honestly, but I do like a lot of the items that, again, came with this pack, mostly in like the um, build by mode rather than the cast. But even so, I still think that this added a lot. And I think Brychester, is it Brychester? Is that the name of the world? I don't even remember. <laughs> I'm having a mind blank. But I love the world that is included in this. I do think it's really beautiful as well. Next, we have Eco Living, and I'm going to put that I can't live without this because Eco Living, the items that come in this for all of them, like all across the board, guys, cast, build by mode, amazing, fantastic. Like, I absolutely love it. Like, all the plants. I'm all about that greenery, and if you've watched my, my speed build videos, guys, you should know I love adding clutter. I love adding plants and doing the landscaping, and so this pack was like heaven sent for me because it had so many plants in it and I like a lot of like the flooring and the walls and so this one this one is amazing and it's funny because when it first came out and I saw the trailer I was kind of like taken aback I was like eh, I don't really know how I feel about this and then I got it and I was like these items these items and even the cast catalog like clothes. I like I was really impressed that I was like enjoying them as much as I did. Now I haven't actually like really played with the whole ecosystem too much, so I really don't have much of a say there, but I do like that it introduced adding again kind of an apartment element to it. So I think that that was another really great addition. Now we have get together. This one I'm going to put that it is good, okay? I'm stuck between good and decent, okay? Like, for gameplay aspects, this really did not add much. It has the whole group system that you can have with your Sims, and I use it occasionally. I mostly have used it in my Solar System Legacy Challenge, just so I can keep up with all the friends, since she is a friend of the world aspiration, and it's really hard for me to make and stay friends with Sims in the Sims game. Like, I always have issues with that for some reason, but... I put it in good because I use a lot of the items that came with it from the different catalogs. And so that's where I'm going to put it at. Gameplay it didn't add much at all. And I don't really care, honestly, for the whole club system. But, you know, it has its uses here and there. Get to work. I'm going to say this one. Again, I'm just going to put it in good. Okay. I love the fact that you can go to different careers and jobs. I think that that is awesome and really fun. Instead of just like waiting for your sim to come home, being able to actually go to work is really exciting. I haven't actually played through all of the careers. I've done like the scientist one, I believe it is. I think it's the scientist one. Yeah, I've done that one, but I haven't really played with any of the other ones. 
And so I do definitely plan on getting through that at some point, one day, guys, someday out there. But I do like a lot of the items, again, that came with this pack. So that's why I have to put it in good because it still didn't disappoint me in the items that I got for adding into my Sims homes and like, you know, businesses or restaurants, whatever it is that I'm going to make. Then we come to seasons. Can't live without. I don't care what Sims it is, whether it's, you know, like Sims 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't care. I have to have seasons. Seasons are everything, okay? It adds such an element to your game of realism that you need. And it, there's something exciting when you play the Sims game about you know, hearing thunder in the background or pouring down rain and, you know, seeing all the beautiful snow and making snow angels, like, you know, all of that stuff. Like, it's just, it's near and dear to my heart. And I think it's so important because I don't know about you guys, I might just be weird. This might be my like artistic brain, but like when it's like a good storm outside, and it's raining, like I get really inspired. <laughs> like I'm like ready to draw. I've got my sketchbook. I'm like writing a story over here and I'm like, mm, aha. Yes. Okay. And I get, I don't know. I just get really inspired. So I think it's great to have this element in the Sims game. And again, the catalogs were great for this. And so, I mean, yes, I've heard people complain about that. There is like a things that it wasn't as good as the previous seasons, but honestly, I think the Sims 4 seasons is great for what it is. And I love the calendar system and that it introduced all the holidays to it. And like, I can't play the Sims game without having holidays. Okay. It adds so much to the game again. Like, uh, this one is like to die for. So honestly, I want to put this one first. I don't have these in any order, by the way, but I just want to put that one first because I absolutely love it, love it, love it. And then I'm going to go right into our free holiday stuff and put that with Can't Live Without because it's free. So, I mean, we got it anyways, but it's more holiday stuff. And I love Christmas, okay? I love holidays. I think they're so fun. And so I'm going to get free holiday stuff like you can bet I can't live without it. So, okay, moving on. So we're going to go right into our game packs now. So the first game pack that is up is Parenthood. I personally can't live without it. Okay, Parenthood I thought was fantastic. It introduced the parenting skill. And I love that. I love that your Sims can learn to be a better parent and be able to do different interactions with their children. And I do think it would be kind of like fun if like they could tell their child to clean. And sometimes if the child would like you know, like have a tantrum. I think that that would actually be a really cool element. So I think that that would have been fun to add in. But you know, with what we got for it, I can't say I'm disappointed. So, and a lot of the items I use from this pack, like a lot, a lot, a lot. So I really love this one. Next up is Realm of Magic. Uh, I'm going to put this in eh, because I, number one, okay, I've honestly never played with the wizards, cult, magic, whatever you want, people in the Sims game. I usually play it for a more realistic approach. Um, however, yes, I do have my Haywood Gardens LP that has vampires in it. But, you know, I wasn't really planning on going that route. It just kind of happened. But anyways, as it comes to spellcasters, I think it's really cool that they, like, put a lot more effort into it where they can learn different spells and things like that. But, I mean, a lot of the items that come in this pack I don't typically use. And so, and I don't ever really play with this spellcasting system. So that's why it's just eh, for me. Like if you play with spellcasters, that's awesome. It's probably a great pack for you, but I don't really do it. I have been wanting to do like just a Harry Potter because I love Harry Potter. Okay. Like I grew up with that and like, I just love it. And so that's probably like the only time I'll really play with it. And yes, in my solar system legacy challenge, my girl Maria ended up with Daryl Charm who came with this pack. And I did not even know he was a spellcaster until he moved in with her. And then I saw his thing was different. And I was like, okay. I just, I don't know. So I'd, I'd not even messing with it, honestly. It's just there, but he's not, he's not focused on it. Next, we have Strangerville. So this one's a little bit hard for me to place, okay? Because first off, the world of Strangerville is beautiful, okay? I love that it's so different. It's very different from what we typically get. It's, it's kind of like a mix of a desert, but not. 
And I just love the environment. It's fantastic. And I love that it was it was different having a storyline and like a mystery to look into. So it was really fun when I played through it the first time. But after you play through it the first time, I mean, you don't really have a reason to use it too much. You know what I'm saying? And but I do think it's fun. It was really interesting having the townies going around, you know, all like, ah, like freaking out because, you know, I don't want to give things away if you haven't played this one, but you know, because of stuff going on in the town. But I love a lot of the items that came with this pack and the cast items as well. It was a very different style. So I'm actually going to put this in good. Okay. You can argue with me, but I'm going to put it in good. Okay. I actually like this one. Vampires. I'm actually going to put this as great, okay? I don't, like I mentioned, I don't typically play with occult sims, but this vampire pack I was very impressed with. I liked that they add where your vampires can have strengths and they can have weaknesses and they have a typical vampire ranking. And depending on their ranking, that allows them to spar with certain other vampires. And so I thought that that was really fun. And I love the additional items that you have in cast that you can really add these extra features to your vampires to make them a lot more original, just very different from each other. And so I have to say, like, I really enjoy this. And of course, all of the building items that you can use, like all the furniture pieces that came in this collection, fantastic, especially when you're like trying to add now that we can do haunted houses, like... Everything's just lining up, guys. It was destiny. Then we have Jungle Adventure. And Jungle Adventure, I'm going to put this in the good category as well. Because the world, what is the name of the world? Wow, I like can't remember. I'm having a big like space in my head that's just like a line. Just trying to think of this. It's gonna, I'm going to think of this as soon as I finish recording this video, I bet you. But anyways, this world is stunning. It's gorgeous. I love all the greenery, the trees. I love the ivy and like the vines that came with this pack and just the items. The catalog was, oh, it was so amazing. And I use them a lot in my builds. And I've always wanted to try to build like a temple. I think I should do that. So yeah, that is why I adore this pack is for that sense. Now, I haven't actually really like gone to the temples in the game and like explored. Like, I know, I know. I'm a little bit behind on some things, but this pack was still beautiful and I thought it was a really great release and it's it's really fun. I like having another world that's like a vacation world that your Sims can go to. Dine out, okay? I personally can't live without this pack because I think it is a necessity to have in your Sims game the fact that your Sims can go out to dinner. Like that is just a basic concept to me. It's everyday life and I love that your Sims can go out and have dates or just be with their family or hang out with the girls or the guys and just have a good time, you know? And so dining is very important to me. I like that you can select the food for the menus, that you can choose your waiters and waitresses and your hostesses outfits. And I like a lot of the items that come in this pack. I know that sometimes there are issues with your waiter or waitress dropping the trays and you having to like wait for your food. But I'm going to be honest with you. As much as I've used this pack, I actually don't have the waiter or waitress drop my food very often. So I know that that happens sometimes to a lot of people, but in mine, I typically haven't experienced it. I've only had it happen like twice. So maybe I just haven't used it as much as some other people. I don't know. But it's important to have this pack so that you can just add a lot more gameplay. And then also you can own a restaurant. And I think that that's a really cool addition as well. Also, did I mention that with the get to work? You can start owning businesses and things like that. But yeah, you can do that. So that's another reason why that one was in the good category. Okay, moving on. Okay, Journey to Batu. Patu, Katu, I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to put this in my extinction category. Because, okay... Number one, I'm not really a huge Star Wars fan. I'm not really a big, like, sci-fi person. I grew up watching Star Trek with my dad, so I always preferred Star Trek over Star Wars, you know. But I do like the items, some of them, that came in this pack, and I have used them in my builds. But cast catalog, just the world itself, like, the gameplay, like, I don't care to do it. <laughs> I really don't. Like, I don't have any desire in my heart anywhere in my body to go to Batu and actually participate in this. Like it's just, it just does not interest me. And that's cool if you guys like it, you know, I, you know, more power to you if that's your thing. But for me and how I play my game, this just, this just isn't it for me. 
Next we have outdoor retreat. And I'm gonna put this in great, okay? I love that your Sims can go outdoors and camp. It added herbalism, and I think that that is an awesome addition because, you know, it's outdoorsy, and I think it is comical that there's just a person walking around in a bear costume. And um, I wish that there were kind of some other wild animals that you might see when your Sims go camping. Like, wouldn't it be cool if, like, a deer just walked by or, like, a raccoon or some squirrels? Like, I don't know. I think that that would be a fun addition. But I like that there's a lot of campfires. They can play guitar around the campfire, that it's a vacation spot. And I just, I think all of that is a really fun element. And it's great for storytelling. And for my LPs, I like to do stories because it makes it more exciting and I also like to write stories in my spare time outside of playing the Sims game and so I just think it adds another element for another scene an area for you to go for your story to make something else happen so I really enjoy this pack. Then we have spa day and I am going to put spa day actually here at great because I use the items in this pack a lot and while I don't technically go and have my Sims enjoy a spa day all the time, I really enjoy watching them when they get a spa day because, like, something about watching them do that stone massage, like, mm, mm, it's so relaxing and, like, it zens me out, too, like, when I do it. But it's also, I, I just like the the atmosphere that comes with this pack and it just added another new element and again something fun to do like you know maybe in your sims game if you're you know doing it based off of story maybe the girl in your storyline she's about to get married and she's gonna go have a big bachelorette party and all the girls go get pampered at the spa you know like you could do really fun things with that and so that is why for me personally I am adding it as great all right, so now, guys, we are starting right into our stuff packs. And I need to, like, speed this up because I'm sorry. Like, I'm taking a really long time. But, okay, this one is Backyard Stuff. Backyard Stuff, I thought it was good, okay? I like the wind chimes that came with it, the little water slip and slide. I mean, these are packs, so they come with very minimum things. I wish that they had added a little bit more, but I do like the items that were included in this one. Bowling, I think it's decent. I do have my Sims go bowling here and there, but other than that, I don't really typically use this pack. But, you know, it was good to have another gameplay activity that your Sims can actually do. Fitness stuff, this can just go away. Like, I felt like it was so pointless. It barely came with anything. The only thing I liked was, like, the rock climbing wall, and that was it. So there could have been so much more added to this. Maybe, like, I don't know, like... A bench press or something you know just more like actual fitness stuff so that I would have enjoyed that more so then we have kids stuff I think that this is great I use it quite a bit with a lot of the items that come in it and so I can't complain there um, kitchen cool kitchen stuff this one was decent okay it came with an ice cream thing and did it come with the popcorn I don't remember but it came with the ice cream and I love ice cream it's like my weakness when it comes to dessert so I was really happy for my sims to be able to have ice cream then we have laundry day laundry day this one is like I'm gonna put this in good okay I don't play with the laundry system a lot because it's agitating and like the laundry just builds up so fast and my son ends up spending all day washing clothes. But the items that came with it, like the cute little shelves for your laundry room, oh my gosh, I love them. They're fantastic and they're so cute. Also, my cat is sitting in my lap. So if you happen to see ears, that's my cat. It's my sweet little baby. Okay, this one is luxury party stuff, I believe. And this one was decent, okay? Like, I like some of the cast items. Didn't really have much for the actual, like, building catalog, but the cast items were all right. So that's why I'm putting it as decent. This one, first pet stuff, it can just go away. I don't dress my pets up in clothes. I don't really use gerbils or hamsters, whatever they are. And so I feel like it added really nothing to the game, honestly. Movie stuff, this one... Mm, I'm going to put this as decent because I do actually enjoy some of the furniture pieces that came with it and that you can have like a huge big theater movie thing and the popcorn. But other than that, like I didn't really care for it a whole lot. Patio stuff. Okay. This one is again, decent. Um, I was really excited for this one when I saw it, but 
the fact is, is that it didn't include a lot and I wanted more, but I did like the pieces that came with it. So I can't say it's uh, because I still enjoyed it. Romantic garden stuff. This one is great. I love the items. So classy and beautiful, literally romantic garden. And I just love it. Tiny Living, I can't live without it. Adding Tiny Homes to The Sims 4 was an amazing addition, and I couldn't have asked for more. Like, honestly, it's fantastic. And that the fact that you can actually, like, select in the residential for your home to be tiny and it gives you actual, like, buffs or benefits from it, amazing. Nifty Knitting, great. I love this pack. The items that come with it are cute, and I love that your older Sims can do knitting. I just think that that's adorable. Paranormal Stuff. This is great. I love the bohemian vibe that came with the cast items and a lot of the furniture pieces are gorgeous and it added gameplay and haunted houses. So this was like an overall really great pack. Spooky stuff. This is good. Okay. I like Halloween. I like that we got some more items for it and a pumpkin carving station. Do I think there could have been more? Absolutely. But I'm still happy that we got something rather than nothing. Toddler stuff. This is eh. Because I like some of the cast items, the hair and the clothes, but like the ball pit was awful and the um, slide, it's it's really big, but I wish like we had something smaller, like a cute little playground, like a tree house or something. I don't know. That's what I was picturing. And then we have, is this vintage stuff? Something like that. I think this one is really good. I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, the cast items, the build items on this one, great. Then we have Moschino. Moshino, something like that. I, I don't really know how you say it. I'm going to put this one as good as well because I do like a lot of the cast items that came with this one too. Now we go right into our kits. Okay. First kit up is, I don't even remember what this is called. Track suits. <laughs> oh no. I'm going to put this as eh. Because, like, I, I like the idea that they have behind it. And I actually like some of the items in it. But uh, I feel like it should have been, like, a dollar or something like that. Or just in a free update. Bust the dust. Okay. This one is eh for me, too. Because, number one, I just don't want another task for my sim to do. But at the same time, I think it's great to make your kids have, like, another chore to do. Because, I especially if it, like, builds their character or their manners. But, and the dust bunnies are adorable. But, you know, it's, it just builds up way too fast. And it's just, it, I think it's silly that there's aspirations about cleaning when that's not really like a life goal to me. Because I feel like an aspiration should be more of a life goal. But, you know, anyways, that's just me. And country, kitchen, whatever it is, I'm going to put this as great. I absolutely love this. It's so adorable and cute. And so this one is my jam. All right, guys. So these are what I think of all of the different packs in The Sims 4. So, I don't know, maybe you guys have similar thoughts. I am interested to hear what you guys, and if you're going to do this ranking thing, definitely let me know. I'd love to check out your video as well. And let me know what you guys think about these packs down in the comments below. So thank you so much, Tater Tots, for joining me, and especially for my first face cam video. But um, yeah, my cat, I don't know if you can see him. I can probably move this camera down. You can see there he is. There he is. He's so cute. He's, he's my baby. He's my baby boy. But yeah, anyways, I am grateful that you guys joined me for this. And I look forward to catching you probably in another LP episode soon. So I will see you tater tots next time. Bye.